Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Riddle. Today in this video, I would like to discuss about some of the projects that I'm working on. So with this, you will get an idea what type of projects we get in Masters. So you will be prepared uh, to work on such projects. Uh, so it's not like it's very tough or something, but yeah, you will get an idea. So currently I'm working on two type of projects, but before discussing that, uh, I would like to request you to subscribe to the channel and uh, be a part of Programming Creator family. And also hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live. And if you end up finding this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys. So yeah, with that being said, let's start a discussion. So currently I'm working on two type of project like I told you. Uh, the first one is machine learning project. So in that uh, we had option and we could choose from four type of uh, projects. So we had option of uh, um, uh, human activity recognition and uh, skin cancer. Uh, and uh, then we had uh, driver, uh, distracted driver detection and uh, we had one more problem uh, which I cannot recall but I will put it in the uh, in the in the description uh, I, and actually these all are uh, Kaggle problems so if you want to try you can try these projects so I will leave a link of all the four projects uh, into the description so you can check them out so I personally chose uh, distracted driver detection because to me it uh, uh, it was uh, it sounded pretty interesting project and I like the data set as well. So it was not uh, I mean I initially I thought it was pretty straightforward, but after exploring the data and when I looked into the data carefully, I got to know it's not exactly that straightforward. I had to do uh, some different type of splitting of data. Usually we do randomly random split. Um, in test train but here I had to do I had to take some different approaches so I tried uh, multiple um, techniques like I, I also tried uh, uh, traditional machine learning algorithms and obviously deep learning uh, like CNN and stuff so it was uh, really a good experience uh, I'm, I'm done with the project like the coding part but I still have to write the report and stuff so uh, I will probably put this project on github but not for now because I cannot do that as of now because it will be evaluated and what if I put uh, that project uh, on GitHub and maybe somebody will uh, copy from that uh, so it will raise that plagiarism thing and stuff so uh, because of that I cannot do that as of now but maybe in the future yeah I can put that on my uh, GitHub so if you want to look you can look that uh, project but if you want to try you can try it today uh, I will leave the link to the problem statement in the description you can try those problem and these uh, four problem problems which I am telling they are very interesting and if you do all the four and if you are someone who is learning uh, machine learning or if you want to get into data science and if you are much more inclined towards machine learning and deep learning I think these four problems will give you a very good understanding about uh, both traditional machine learning as well as the deep learning as well because some of the problem statements uh, which you will be solving uh, they can be done uh, better using traditional machine learning algorithms and there are some like uh, distracted driver detection it will be better to do in uh, deep learning so yeah uh, this is my uh, first project and the second project is part of cloud computing so in cloud computing also we had uh, option of two projects the first was uh, analyzing uh, Facebook's cluster data and like uh, what type of traffic is coming in and uh, which nodes are handling more of the traffic uh, and uh, the second project was uh, terapixel data so basically in I have taken this terapixel so I will be able to explain you in a much better way uh, so in terapixel uh, we had uh, image of 256 cross 256 but each pixel was consist if each pixel consist of uh, I mean the whole image was uh, consist of uh, trillion uh, pixels so it was uh, it is a very computation intensive uh, image to render so we, we are using a cluster of uh, 1024 GPUs on Azure platform so we have data of application checkpoint from that Azure cluster and uh, we want to analyze and we want to see how we can uh, optimize our performance and also how we can reduce the cost so that well, that was the aim of this uh, project so basically it's EDA and once the EDA is done we can probably make our dashboard and host it in docker and or maybe we can put it on any cloud platform so it's totally up to us we can make a dashboard and we can host it uh, so yeah this is what uh, my project 
is for cloud computing. So both are pretty interesting uh, projects and I think they are very uh, good projects to give you practical understanding of uh, uh, things or application of data science into industry. So yeah, uh, and actually that uh, terapixel image or terapixel uh, uh, data that we have, it was it was actually done by one of the professors uh, from the Newcastle University. Now he went to King's uh, King King's College London, but yeah, uh, he did that work and it is actually a map of uh, Newcastle upon time. So yeah, uh, it it is it was actually a very good project to work on and it gave uh, very good insights about. Uh, how the data is being collected in uh, cloud platforms and uh, of course you all know uh, how important the cloud computing has become because it allows us to have access to all those powerful uh, computation power without having to invest a lot upfront so yeah uh, it's a, it's a, it was a very good experience exploring that type of data so yeah, I think this is it for this video and these are the two projects that I am currently working on and I have a submission on 21st of Jan, so it's not that far uh, and I'm done with the cloud computing project uh, like everything coding and report and stuff uh, machine learning I'm done with the, the coding part I need to work on report so hopefully I'll be done in next two or three days so yeah this is it for this video and i hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you found this video helpful and if you did please give it a thumbs up it gives me motivated to make such videos for you guys and uh, if you want to join uh, our telegram group you can join a telegram group there we have over a uh, thousand people and they're helping each other so yeah and if you want to download, download uh, data science notes you can download data science notes link is again in the description so yeah uh, now I'll end this video. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Subscribe, share, like, and comment. Don't forget to do all those good things. So yeah, happy learning.